Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom and you're watching SBR Picks. Now, West Brom hosts Southampton on Saturday. Now, saw from their 2-0 at-home loss playing Liverpool, can the Saints turn things around or will West Brom at home prove a tough opponent? Sports writer and SBR contributor Lee Phelps joins us now to take us through the match. Lee, thank you for being here. Pleasure. Now, Southampton, who find themselves down in fifth spot, are slight favourites to win here, price 2.25, uh, the draw 3.3 and West Ham 3.4. The odds paint a closed picture. Do you agree with this? Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one, this one, you know, because you know, I think Tony Pulis has actually done a really good job at West Brom. You know, he's not, they weren't in desperate trouble. They weren't like they were bottom of the table. They were above the relegation zone, but he's got them, got them going along quite nicely and they're doing all right at home. You know, these two teams, like West Brom 14th, Southampton 5th, but they don't look too dissimilar to me when I've watched them both recently. Southampton really struggling to score goals. This is going against the grain a bit here, Natalie, but I'd go for West Brom on the outrights here. I know that sounds crazy because West, West Brom have been struggling all season, Southampton have been the team flying high, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't finish that far away from each other in the table. I'm not saying they're going to be next to each other, they're separated by 19 points, for goodness sake. But I don't think there'll be 19 points difference when we come to the end of the, end of the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you know, I agree with you. And to be honest with mm -hmm. you, for that reason, I'm actually staying away from the winner's market. I wouldn't be... You know, I am what, expecting because, Southampton what, to win. because you agree but... with me? You mean? Huh? <laughs> because you agree with me. Charming. <laughs> <laughs> For once, now and again, uh, I do agree. Uh, but yeah, they do. Um, you know, they, they, they uh, you know, they, they've had a fantastic season. Um, but they do seem to be taking a dip, and I wouldn't be surprised if they failed as well. So for that reason, I'm going to pass uh, the winners' market. But do you think this also points to a low-scoring affair? The under two and a half goals is priced pretty low, 1.6 at Labrooks. Some people would argue that the value has gone on that bet. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, it probably has, hasn't it? I mean, I do think it will be low scoring. I mean, Southampton have really been struggling to score goals. You know, Graziano Pelle's early season form seems to have deserted him. They've, uh, they've scored one goal in the last four games. They've had 65 shots in those four games. I mean, there's something drastically wrong when you're having that many shots and only scoring one goal. Of those 65, incidentally, 21 were on target. So one goal from 21 shots on target in four games. They're creating the chances, so you could argue that, well, what if they start to fire those in? What if they do start to find the back of the net? Which is a fair point. I don't think they will, though, because, you know, Tony Pulis is a manager who sets his teams up very organised, very disciplined, doesn't want to give too much away. So I think it will be low scoring. You know, I don't really like chasing the value. I mean, you could go under 1.5, um, you know, but if, if you're not keen on the under 2.5 price, then, you know, yeah, you know, why would you go for that? I really like it. Just because the under 2.5 is short doesn't mean you can't play it. It's short for a reason. Sometimes you want to go against the bookmakers. Sometimes you want to go with them. Because I think they've called this exactly right. You know, the bookmakers are right more often than not, aren't they? So, yeah, unless Pelé just suddenly finds his form, then I'm not sure they'll let, they'll they'll let, they'll score any more goals uh, than they have been doing. Southampton, West Brom, Brown a day. He's got four and four. Cedar Berahino's found a little bit of form as well, but. Talking about the Southampton defence being the best in the Premier League, better than Chelsea's, it's the best away defence in the Premier League. So it could be a bit, you know, West Brom drew 0 0 in the last home game. Could see that again here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, also, the bet both teams to score no has a slightly shorter odds there, 1.8 at Labrooks. Combine that with, uh, with the under two and a half goals, you get 1.91 uh, bet 365. Is that what you're looking at here? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to play the straight under 1.5 here, I think. You know, cause I, I just think that. Um, I think it could be a one nil. I think it could be a one nil either way. To be honest with you, um, so I'm I'm going to go for under one point five goals here and uh, and just look for the nil nil. Maybe the one nil either way. Anyone who wants a you know a risky bet, I'd go one nil West Brom here. Mm -hmm. well, that is a risky bet. So would you say that's that's the that's the best play, Lee? Under one point five goals, two point seven five William Hill. Is that the top tip for betting this match? Yeah, that's what I'd be going for. Like I say, the the lack of goals from Southampton, the fact that. You know, West Brom have been very tight defensively at home and you've got this brilliant Southampton defence. All they know is defence Southampton without the goal. So I think, I think that's, a, that's a good bet. I mean, anyone who doesn't quite want to go that far, I think the under 2.5 is, is a very nice bet this weekend. Well, it's going to be an interesting match. Can Southampton pick themselves up? Let's see what's going to happen. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure.